Hey guys, welcome to the next video and another question. This is a probability question. In a game, a man wins rupees 100 if he gets 5 or 6 on a throw of a fair die and loses 50 rupees for getting any other number on the die. If he decides to throw the die either till he gets a 5 or 6 or to a maximum of three throws, then his expected gain or loss is, your options are 400 by three is the loss, 400 by nine is the loss or zero, or is it four, 400 by three, the gain? I guess you should uh, here pause and uh, try it out yourself. I'm sure you can do it. And once done, you can just uh, you know check the, from the solution. So what kind of a situation do we have? We need expected gain or loss, okay? So we need to find expectation. Now, whenever you're talking about expectation, so there's a probability attached to um, attached to events, and then you find out the weighted average. That, that is what is expectation, right? So here, what probability is of key importance? The probability that is of key importance is probability of getting 5 or 6. And the probability of getting 5 or 6, either 5 or 6, is out of the 6 positions possible. Out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there are 2 positions. So 2 by 6 is that probability. Therefore, the probability that you're getting neither 5 nor 6, so some other number comes up, that would be 4 by 6 because there are four other numbers, right? So that would be 4 by 6. These are the two important probabilities here, right? Now, it's clearly given that in case you get 5 or 6, you get 100 rupees. And in case you get anything apart from 5, 6, you lose 50. So you have to give 50, right? So what is the expected value and what is the scenario possible? Now, if you're lucky, it might so happen that you are getting either 5 or 6 on the first throw itself. And at the max, you can throw three times, okay? So on the first throw, you are getting either five or six. Now, according to the question, if he decides to throw the die, either till he gets five or six, or to a maximum of three throws. So if you get on the very first uh, throw, you get five or six, you don't have to throw again, right? That's what is your decision. But it might so happen that you are neither getting 5 nor you're getting 6 at the first throw. So you try again and maybe you're lucky and you get either 5 or 6 on the second throw. Then you will not go to the third throw, right? Now it can also happen. I'm just making cases right now, okay? So it's, I don't really have to right plus right now it's case one case two case three case three could be that maybe you know you're getting neither five nor six in the first throw neither five nor six in the second throw but because you did not get five six so you will not stop so you have another trial you get either five or six in the third throw, right? That is a possibility. But there is another case possible. It is a possibility that you do not get five or six in any of the three throws. So neither in the first one, nor in the second throw, and not even in your 
third throw. That's possible, but you will stop after that because that's uh, the maximum we can go. We can. It's given in the problem that at, at the maximum you're throwing three times. Okay, the dice is being thrown three times. Now we want expected value, expected gain loss. So gain or loss. Let's look at these cases and figure out what will be my gain or loss in each of the cases. So the first case is that I'm getting uh, either five or six on the first throw itself. So I will get 100 rupees. I will get 100 rupees, okay? So I will get 100 rupees with a probability attached to getting either five or six, okay? In case two, I am not getting five or six in the first throw so I will be paying 50 rupees but then in the second throw I get 100 rupees so in net as a net if we see I'm gonna give 50 but then get 100 okay so that's what will happen in the second case in the third case where you are not getting five or six in the first throw so you give 50 rupees you're not getting five or six in the first, uh, second throw. So you're giving 50. But then you are getting five or six in the third throw. Hence, you get 100 rupees. Okay. So that's your net gain or loss, whatever. The net is minus 50, minus 50, plus 100 in this case. In the fourth case, you are not getting five or six in any of the three. So that means in the first throw, I give 50 rupees. In the second throw, I give 50 rupees. In the third throw also, I give 50 rupees. Okay. So these, this is your net gain or loss in the four cases that we have created. Now, each of these cases have a probability attached to it, right? The probability of getting either five or six is two by six, right? Now, the Second case is that you're not getting five uh, and six in the first throw. That happens with probability four by six. And then in the second throw, you are getting either five or six with the probability two by six. Third case is that you do not get fives or six two times, but then you get the third time you get either five or six. So the probability attached will be four by six to the power two into two by six. And then the last case, you are not getting five or six, five and six in any of the three throws. So that comes with probability four by six to the power three. Your expected value. gain or loss will be gain or loss net gain or loss multiplied by the probability attached to it net gain or loss multiplied by the probability attached to it net gain or loss multiplied by the probability attached to it and similarly here so it's going to be 100 into 2 by 6 plus 50 into 4 by 6 into 2 by 6 Plus, if you observe what you will get here is 0, minus 100 plus 100 into 4 by 6 square into 2 by 6 plus the last case is minus 150 into 4 by 6 cube. Needs a bit of calculation now. So what we can do is we can take 2 by 6 as 1 by 3. So this is 100 by 3 plus Again, this is 2 by 3. This is 1 by 3. So you will get 100 upon 3 into 3, 9. Plus 0. Plus minus 150. Multiplied by 2 cube is 8. And 3 cube in the denominator. So that's 27. Let's take the LCM now. So taking the LCM, what I can also do here is, let's just cancel this out. This will give minus 50 
and 9 here. So 9 would be taken as a denominator and you'll get 300 plus 100. And here it's going to be minus 15 to 8 will give you 400. So well, what we are getting is 400 minus 400 in our numerator. So that means it's going to be zero. So the expected gain or loss is actually zero in this question. So you can have, uh, you know, many manipulations could be done in these kind of questions, but they're not very difficult to solve. You just have to understand the case properly. What is the expected value that you have to find out? What is that variable like gain loss was the variable here for which we had to find the expected value. And then for every case, you need to have the probability for that case. Well, we do have uh, an option which is uh, coming out to be as, as what we have as an answer. So C is the correct answer. Okay.